Hello guys, we're now into the second half of the NBA season. Starting off for the Wednesday slate, only got two games, uh, 5 p.m. start Pacific time. So Washington and Memphis, this is going to be the most appealing game, um, or the more appealing game out of the two. So for the Wizards side, Westbrook and Beal, they're going to be definitely high owned just because they're the studs, they have the most upside. So if I had to choose, I'd go with Westbrook. But point guard is probably going to be, uh, actually, it is pretty stacked. So, it's going to be a little bit tough to get to Westbrook. I think I'd want to play Luka more. Um, and there's also Jaw. So, Beal probably is going to get... Uh, I'm going to get more exposure to Beal. Now, Rui, he's playing big minutes, but he's just not really that productive when these two guards are healthy. Davis Bertans at 4,400 looks pretty good. Memphis does allow uh, their bottom 10 and allow threes. So, that's you know a, definitely a case for playing Bertans. He's also playing some big minutes. He can play... Uh, some small ball uh, five, so he's going to get center minutes or rebounds. And then for value, we can look to a guy like Mo Wagner. 3,200, he's taking up a center spot, but he has pretty much 10x upside. Like, we've seen him do it here once and then almost again right here. So if he's really productive when he gets the minutes. And this is a matchup where they could definitely use some size. So as long as uh, Scott Brooks doesn't go to Rob Lopez right away, um, Mo Wagner, as long as he plays well, you know, in the third quarter, that's a very important stint, doesn't get subbed out, then he could definitely be a tournament winner. And then the other guy's going to be Denny Avdia. He's going to be the more popular guy because of just the recent game log. You're seeing 26, 25 minutes. And getting 20 or 16 tracking points at this price for a slate like this, you really need the savings to get the studs. So I think Avdia makes sense. Um, again, this is a cash build, so he definitely is going to probably look like a core play right now. And then on to the Memphis side, we know that we just got to target the Grizzlies. So, or I mean, target the Wizards. So the Grizzlies playing them, we're going to be looking at pretty much everyone. John Moran, 7800. This dude plays the biggest minutes. He's the big usage guy for the Grizzlies, and he's their future. So he's very productive. He's not the best shooter, but... Yeah, he's putting up, his rebounds are going up, he's always going to get a lot of assists, chipping with steals, taking a lot of threes. Um, last game, it was Milwaukee, so um, don't expect to see those type of attempts, but this is too cheap. Like, Jaw, if he's playing big minutes, this grid of matchup, he should really be like 9k, so he's going to be chalk, but you pretty much just have to take it. And then Joval, 7100, the Wizards get destroyed by every position, but center, definitely. So the last time they played, he got into foul trouble, and he still was able to get 11 and 16. So if he stays out of foul trouble, you could definitely be looking at like a 50 tracking points uh, game for Joval. And then Colin Anderson, his minutes, they're not that great. So yeah, it's a little concerning, but for a two-gamer, definitely like pretty much everyone's going to be in play. This dude has a lot of upside. It's a lot of uh, playmaking. So if you're not playing Jaw, it definitely makes sense to play Kyle Anderson, um, Winslow, uh, Melton, Tyus Jones, and then Dylan Brooks. Hopefully you guys played him last time because the matchup made a lot of sense. But this time, it's another great matchup, but you're not going to see three blocks and three steals out of Dylan Brooks. And seven assists also just an anomaly. So Brooks, 5400 it's a very good price tag, very good matchup. But this is someone that has a very low floor, so... He's going to be very popular. I'm going to come in under the field. And then Brandon Clark. If you're not playing Joe Val, this is your guy. If Joe Val gets hurt, gets into foul trouble, Brandon Clark is going to play pretty much all the center minutes that he can handle. He'll play the four of Joe Val uh, with Joe Val. So 5200 it's a very fair price tag. He's not going to be that high owned. And you just need something weird to happen. And it could definitely happen to a game slate. If it does happen, I mean, you're going to be sitting really pretty. Now with the value in Winslow, 3,900. He's been getting minutes, and he's a big ball handler, so he's going to be able to get rebounds now. He's not a good shooter, but he's taking a lot of shots. So playing low 20s and minutes at 3,900 in a great matchup, you could definitely uh, do worse. So I do like Winslow for the savings. And then Tyus Jones, 3,100. He's not getting the minutes right now, but he is really productive. So he also gets blow run. If something weird were to happen, like John Moran fell in trouble, blow out, Things like that. Tyus Jones is going to be getting probably at least like 20 drafting points. So Tyus Jones is definitely someone you need to have some exposure to. And then now the next game, Spurs and Mavs. For these Mavs games, when they're at home, they do tend not to be pretty high scoring. But the Spurs are by far the most tricky team of the slate. 
they have pretty much uh, everyone healthy except Devin Vassell, but you don't even know what the minutes are going to be like, because Kelvin Johnson, he just returned, he didn't even play big minutes, he was coming with Ben, same thing with Aldridge, um, and now they're getting back Derek White, Rudy Gay, just all these guys, their minutes, uh, because they've just been returning, we really don't know, and because they're all back, they're also going to hurt the guys who have a game, it's like DeRozan, Murray, Pearl, so it just hurts their usage, hurts their minutes, and everything, but for a two-game slate, you're probably going to need someone on the Spurs team, it's just going to be very tough to figure out who it is, um, I don't think I want to really pay for DeRozan and Murray, because I think John Moran and Joel Bell, they're just a lot better plays, um, but also that's going to mean lower ownership on these Spurs, so I do like some of these guys, um, Dallas, rebounding-wise, San Antonio, they're, both of them aren't, like, that great, so for the Dallas side, um, you know, you're looking at probably increased opportunities for rebounds, but that could really just benefit Luka, so this is a way tougher game to predict, now, hopefully get some, like, minutes, uh, words on the minutes, because right now, we don't really know what to do, like, we don't even know if Derek White's gonna go back to starting with Lonnie to the bench, or whatever, so, um, I mean, it's just really tough to pinpoint who. We're just going to have to revisit this later. And then Dallas, they look like they're going to be healthy. So Luka, 10.7K, he's going to be the stud. Highest selling guy, probably, uh, for the expensive dudes. So, yeah, you know, just play Luka. Now, everyone else, because they're healthy now, Josh Richardson, he's not going to get a lot of ball handed opportunities. So you're not going to see a lot of assists. Also, the steals, he got four last game, which that's just not going to happen again. But again, 4,900, he plays big minutes. He's their, pretty much probably their best defender. So it's going to be needed out there. 4,900, definitely a pretty good, like, cheap mid-range kind of guy. Um, now, Hardaway, he's a lot more shot dependent. Um, but these guys, they're pretty similar in their fantasy output. DFS, he's a little bit less productive. Uh, but he does also play some pretty big minutes. Kleber, not someone I really go to when Porzingis is healthy. So for the main guy, there's going to be Luka here. And then we're going to go to this game, which it's going to be Jaw, Joel Val, and then you plug in the value. So I'm going to go with Winslow. And then Avdia. Um, yeah. So that's going to be the core five for right now. Um, it's a two gamer, so always proceed with caution. Just play light. Have a big game, a big slate on Thursday. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like before you go. Uh, my Twitter, I'm going to ask me anything on there. So good luck on the stay once again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.